I mean, the people, the kind of people who came and the eagerness. I got here around 7.15 and there were people here already. Some came at, say, at 6.30 and we had advertised 8 o'clock to start. So that tells you people are hungry for information. People really want to understand what it takes. And that also tells us that the things we do on air are real. Because it's one thing listening to radio, it's another thing moving from your home and coming in to be part of what a radio station does. I think Leticia, you know, there was a question I asked about whether you should disclose everything to your family and whether you can owe your wife or vice versa. And that struck a chord because she spoke about that, that look, if you can be naked with somebody in the room and say I'm married to you and you are financially veiled, it's not going to work. He also spoke about admitting cultural differences. So he spoke about how he has a different kind of family to his husband and bringing those different nuances into decision making is very important. It's a very collaborative, common sense approach. As for Paul Kofi Mante, he was very clear that you need to start now. You need to start saving and investing. And that procrastination and bad decisions are the cause of poverty. And that being religious is not a substitute for being financially savvy. And because he was selling books, I mean, we know what he said. It's very, very practical. And he was very aggressive talking about financial independence, five financial habits every parent must have. He also launched Operation One Million. He says you could make a million CDs in your lifetime. You just save five CDs a month. If you save five CDs a day, you could make a million CDs within 20 years or something. Really interesting presentation. Ended with a very exciting story about buying the Black Land Cruiser. So that was, that was quite powerful. We had a very interesting skit by Soul Train Productions and it was really exciting. Isaiah and Fafa arguing over money. And I think that set the foundation for Charles's presentation. Charles Mensah's own was about the questions that arise in families. A lot of families have complications. He says that most divorces occur because of money. I didn't know that. Apparently it's true. And the questions that he was getting seems to point to that fact. Another interesting fact, quite a number of people came alone, even though they are married. So that should tell you that even the decision to come and talk about money is divisive. So I saw about 10 guys who had come alone. They are married, but they said, Charlie, my wife says she won't come but I want to come and get the knowledge and I'll get her the CD. That tells you that finance can be a, a sticky point in families. And we're hoping that this series, as part of our family month, will really give our viewers and our listeners some real good value and make them excited for the future. The next one is uh, on men. It's exclusively for men. And I'm really looking forward to that. A big thanks to the team for making it happen.